Good afternoon, everyone. Hanging out here with Poppy and Paxton. Just doing a little Q&A. A lot of people have asked about their ages. Poppy just turned four the other day. Paxton will be seven on the seventh, his golden birthday. And uh, let's see, their average lifespan is typically three to five years in the wild or eight to 12 years in captivity. I just, that's, that's all the snacks, Poppy, that's it. Um, what happened to Paxton? He was a uh, Poppy, be nice. They usually get along unless there's snacks involved. Um, Paxton, his previous owner, kind of neglected, well, did neglect a, uh, an injury to his hand, which was caused by not clipping his, his nails. And, uh, because they had left it go for so long, he ended up getting an infection and having to have his arm amputated. Hold on. Poppy. Uh, they're incredibly high maintenance creatures. They require constant time and attention. Hi, bud. Pex loves his little cheek rubs. Hey, bud. You can see his fur has grown in really well. It's even the uh, the softness and everything is completely changed from when we first got him. You want a little belly rub? No? Okay. You just want cheek rubs. Good boy. Hi, Poppy. You can see how destructive they are. They have not at the bottom of that door. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of sweet potato. Their favorite treats always involve sweet potatoes. One second here. Oh, there you go. Hold on, Patty. my goodness. Hold on, Patty. You get some. Here you go, bud. Good boy. Okay. All right. Will we get more? Um, no, we actually didn't even plan on Paxton. He was just in such a horrible situation that we felt the need to get involved and, and take him in. Do we have to have a license to have them or are they considered exotics? Uh, they're considered exotics. We don't have to. Uh-oh, you okay, bud? Thanks, uh, uh, Grandpa. Um, no, we do not. In Florida, we don't have to have a license for them. Let's see. Are they looking for snacks? Always. Do they ever watch TV? Um, yes. They actually have a TV right there that's usually on if we're working uh, in another room or something. There, we, we pop on some whatever animal channel for the two of them. Do they sleep through the night? They do. Um, they usually put themselves to bed around seven or eight. I like how they just kind of sit butt to butt. And this is actually Paxton. So he's, 
He's a little bigger than Poppy now. Uh, do they listen to music? They do. How's Paxton's personality changed versus when we first got him? Uh, when we first got him, he just kind of slept a lot. He was also on a lot of medication, but as he healed, a lot more personality came out. He just tears tears around. He's he's real quick, even even missing his his one arm. He's been really great. Um, he's super loving, super sweet. He loves his little cheek rubs and his belly rubs. Um, Poppy is a little bit more sass, uh, but she is also very sweet. But she also gets in a lot more trouble. Thanks, E.G. Uh, Laura says, Poppy probably eats faster than Pax. So does she go after his snack when, she, when he's done with it? He, uh, Poppy usually does go after his snack. So uh, typically in, in certain settings, we have to separate them, give them snacks uh, in different areas so that that doesn't happen. What happened to Paxton's foot? Um, his previous owner neglected an infection and we ended up taking him in, taking him to the vet and it had gone on too long untreated to where he had to uh, have his little arm amputated. Are they getting along better? They definitely are. Have they been around other domestic animals like cats and dogs? They have. They've been around dogs. We have to really be careful about the dogs that we bring them around uh, for their for the prairie dog safety. Um, they've been around goats, chickens, geese. Um, if you look at a few of the last videos, you can see see them around geese. Uh, do they have to have any types of vaccinations? They do not. Other than geese and chickens, do they meet any other critters? I think that's it. Outside of dogs, they haven't really encountered any other animals. standing pose. Uh, yes, Paxton does look like he's a little kung fu fighter when he's standing up at attention. When they chew on things like cardboard, do they ingest it? They do not. No, they usually just chew on it to keep their their teeth in check. Their, their teeth are actually constantly growing. So if if they don't have puppy, uh, if they don't have things to constantly chew on, uh, their teeth can become overgrown. So their rodent teeth are just like nails. They just do not stop growing. Will we get other pets? There's a dog, but we won't get any, any other animals now. Thank you, Anacotta Dodge. I'm glad you and your son can can watch alive. Uh, let's see. Any chance we will make more long form videos instead of YouTube shorts? Uh, the latter are not good for attention spans and basically screw up our brains. Um, yes, we. Uh, I'm working on a few. I, I really want to create a couple of videos on the care of Poppy and Paxton and maybe inform people about Paxton and what happened to him because that seems to always be a big question just maybe a long form video answering the frequently asked questions how are the little munchkins they're great Poppy's definitely got a lot of energy right now Do 
Do they enjoy their holidays on the farm? Yes, absolutely. This was, I believe this was Paxton's first time kind of out and exploring. Big stretch, Poppy. Um, just out and exploring general nature. He didn't really have adequate attention and care from uh, from his previous owner. So, so we're really happy that we could give both of them all of the attention. Puppies digging in her little toy. That's actually a log with some chipmunks in it, I think. Uh, let's see. Geese do make good guard dogs, yes. Oh, and Puppy has taken over Paxton's snack. It sounded like she laughed at him. That's not nice. Poor Paxie, I'll get you another snack, Pax. Hold on. Oh. Okay, let me get you something. And they definitely know where their snack boxes are. Here you go, since, since Poppy was a little bully, here you go. Whoops. All right. How long do they live? Uh, it's three to five years in the wild or eight to 12 years in captivity. I actually know of a few that have lived significantly longer than 12 years. So that's the, that's the hope, that's the goal. Poppy's dress is beautiful. Does she wear it in the house too? No, she doesn't. It's actually a harness that is attached to a dress. So the, the dress is actually the harness. It's really the only way she would ever wear clothing. Here you go, bud. Oopsie. Uh, let's see. Does Paxton bite hard? Uh, he can. The video where he bit me, um, it was hard. It wasn't enough to break the skin or anything. I think it was more of a an attention thing. He just wanted wanted to show me he he needed attention. And yes, I I would say again that. They are not animals, whoops, that, uh, that should be kept as pets. Poppy and Paxton are, are both rescues and uh, a lot of work. I know of a lot of situations where people get them thinking they're gonna be real cute and wonderful and sweet, but uh, don't realize how much time and attention they require and, and how destructive they are. Or two. Well, thanks. Eddie LaCascalade said his favorite moment of the day is when a new Poppy and Paxton video is uploaded. Thanks. Let's see, with the long nails, do they ever scratch us up? Yes, um, they, they actually have naturally long quicks in their nails, or the uh, little vein that, um, that leads to blood in the nail. And uh, so they have to be left pretty long. Whoop, Poppy's a little a little bit of a grump. And she has a little swinging bed here, little hammock where she can be grumpy all she wants. All right. Is there training required to take care of prairie dogs? That's a big yawn. Um, we have both had uh, prior experience with, with exotics. I've 
dealt with hedgehogs and sugar gliders, and Breen has dealt with um, ferrets. Uh, let's see. Um, but, oh, anyway, as far as training and everything, we made sure to consult with Dr. Kelleher, Dr. K. She has a TV show, but she specializes in uh, small animals, exotics, birds. Um, but on anything that we do, we always consult her, uh, her clinic. Paxi, are you supposed to be in there? Okay, good boy. He does so well getting up and down uh, things that Poppy even has difficulty with. Do they ever fight? Um, they usually only play with each other unless there is snacks involved. Let's see, Poppy. Poppy loves all the ribbon hanging. This actually is really helpful in keeping her teeth trimmed down. <coughs> Puppy! Good girl. Okay, back to destruction. How do I think they would behave with a pet skunk in the house? I have no idea. I don't really know anything about skunks either. Peck should be a pirate for Halloween. That would be cute. Good boy. He's so soft. When we got him, he was very, um, a little greasy from, I think, what, what food he was eating before, and his hair was very coarse. Now, on his new diet, it's, um, it's right there, just as soft as Poppy. Not quite as soft, but he's getting there. Do they like baths? Uh, Paxson has not had a bath. Um, Poppy is not the biggest fan of it, but but she'll take baths. Very rarely, though. Let's see. Do they try to burrow in the house or, or garden? Uh, Poppy doesn't really like to dig in the dirt for some reason. She will, but... Um, we have blanket piles throughout the house that they, uh, that they dig in. Uh, do they tear stuff up when we're gone? If we were to leave them uh, on their own, they they would definitely be tearing things up. I don't know if you can hear Poppy, but she's under her cage right now, tearing up a bunch of blankets and things. But we have uh, we have some things placed around the house like this barrier here to, to keep them from chewing on things like the hamper and other stuff. Is Poppy jealous? Uh, no, I don't think so. She, she's pretty easygoing. How old is Pax? Then he's going to be seven uh, in just a couple days. Let's 
you can't find the video talking about Paxton's arm. I think it is one of the live videos, but um, I will create one and give a little information from, uh, give a little information about Paxton. Thanks, Sandy K. Where do you get those material things to chew on for their teeth? Uh, you have bunnies and need something like that. Um, cardboard boxes are really great for that. Uh, ribbons and things that they chew. Um, I just get random ribbons. I don't, I don't know, like ribbons from Christmas. Not the plastic ribbon, like the cloth ribbon. Let's see. Yeah, click the like button if you all can. It really helps. How old are they? Uh, can someone post the P.O. Box address? I think it's posted in the community tab. If you are doing it from the computer, I'm not sure how to get there from the phone, but I think there is a way. Um, let There goes Pax. Are they reacting to their names or do you think they recognize you? Uh, both. They react to their names and they definitely recognize me. Hey bud. Do they have a unique smell? They do. When Paxton came, he smelled not the greatest, um, but now they smell like sweet hay. So the majority of their uh, their diet consists of heavy hay, and uh, followed by fresh greens like kale, lettuce, um, stuff like that. And this is their water. I think Paxton's getting ready to drink some water. See his little nub has healed really well. Do they get enough snacks? Absolutely. All right, well, I am going to start my day. Thank you everyone for joining. And um, I'll hop on, maybe I'll hop on a little later. I'm not sure yet. So we will talk to you all later. Oh, wait, here's Paxton drinking some water for you. There we go. That little hand. A little messy. I think he got half of it in his mouth. Have a good day, everyone.